the maiden flight test of the indigenously developed Agni-5 missile dubbed Mission Divyastra was successfully conducted on Monday. Agni-5 has multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle or MIRV technology. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday congratulated the scientists of the Defence Research and Development Organisation or DRDO for the Agni-5 success. The DRDO developed technology that would make the missile system difficult to intercept as the payloads or warheads would be moving towards their intended targets along with the mother vehicles and multiple decoys with them, defense sources told A9. The number of warheads in the missile system can also be increased based on the requirements, they said. The MIRV technology gives the capability to the warhead to split into multiple re-entry vehicles to deliver a precise and targeted attack. A single missile would therefore be capable of delivering multiple warheads. The Agni-5 missile, an intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of 5,500 to 5,800 kilometers, marks a significant enhancement in India's strategic defense arsenal. This development is particularly important as it aims to bolster India's nuclear deterrence, especially against potential threats from the eastern frontiers. Until the advent of Agni-5, India's longest-range missile was Agni-3 with a capability of reaching up to 3,500 kilometers, insufficient to cover the extreme eastern and northeastern regions of potential adversaries. India is working towards the strengthening of the nuclear triad, which is a capability of launching nuclear missiles from land, air and sea. Agni-5 can bring almost the entire Asia, including the northernmost part of China as well as some regions in Europe under its striking range. This missile has the farthest range in the history of India's weapons program. It is also the first missile to be launched at its maximum operational range, which exceeds 5000 km. With the latest test, India has officially entered the exclusive League of Nations possessing multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle capability. According to highly placed sources, this cutting-edge system features indigenous avionics systems and high-precision sensor packages, ensuring the re-entry vehicles precisely hit their target points. The successful flight test was carried out from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. News Desk, Global.